Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is Tamanna here, and today's video is going to be very interesting as I'm going to show you a art tutorial. So before starting the video, I would just like to say that uh, when you do any artwork, please tie your hair into a bun or a pony, just like I did. Or else when you paint, all the hair will come in your painting, and it will not only spoil your artwork, but it will also uh, messy your hair. Uh, so after that, you'll have to take a bath and again get ready. So doing all that, you can just do as tie a pony. It is good for you and me. So yeah, let's begin. So guys, the materials we will need to make this art tutorial is a rough cloth, a palette, brushes, a compass box, paints, masking tape, scissor, sponge, container. It is okay if you have a bowl or something, and a spray bottle. So when you sprinkle water to your sheet. It will stay nicely, and if you do not have this, all you can do is you can take some water in a container, and from a brush you can splash it. So now when we come to the paints here, you will see it is all scattered. But to make them in order, we are going to divide them into dark colors and light colors. So dark, dark, light. Then this is dark green. So dark. light light dark light dark then this is again dark light 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 then dark the spell i mistake so then this is light then this is dark then this is light and then this is dark so this is what i have done i have divided them divided into two pyramids and now we can start with the artwork so uh it's going to be abstract artwork now if you see you have a sponge You're gonna divide it into small, equal pieces. Yes, guys. So here we have a sponge and our pencil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make equal measurements to cut the sponge with the scissor. So if you can see, there are already markings here. So I'm just gonna trace them. So guys, I've done the tracing, but I'm not sure if you can see it. So I'll show you this when it's cut. So guys, you see, I'm cutting this with the scissor. And one more thing, uh, use if you're a small kid, use scissors when only a parent or an adult is near you, or else you can hurt yourself. So now, uh, let's go back to the cutting. Guys, so this is the cutted part of this. Points, and I definitely did not use all because how much I needed was filled with this container. So yeah, now I'm going to tell you the next step, guys. So the next part, the next step is you need a masking tape and you're going to cut it into pieces and you can align them in any way. So first, I'm going to cut the pieces and then show it to you. So guys, this is. the length for the masking tape wait it's stuck yeah so i'm going to stick it before the stickiness goes so you can use different lengths so let's see when i stick the masking tape to my paper let's see how it looks so guys you were seeing the tape stuck so yeah i made it a cross pattern This is my pattern. So let's move to the next step, guys. The next step is take any color and the sprinkler you had. We're just gonna pour some. 
not too much so you are seeing this it became a little watery so now what you have to do is take a sponge over here you're gonna uh, take some paint from the brush dab it here and the sprinkler you have to spray some water at any part you want to do suppose i'm doing this part so i'll do that i'll dab i'll do this with two colors so i'm gonna merge oh magenta and i'm gonna take up violet so these two colors actually let me take up one more i can take cobalt blue so these three colors on this part so yes let's do it and show you this spot then it's completed so guys i am taking some paint from magenta if you can see i am going to dab it only to the end and one side Seeing this, yeah. Now the next step has to be done quickly, or else it will dry out. So my water, then on that part, I'll sprinkle some of water and dab it. It's okay if the table or whatever gets spilled. I'm seeing this, so I'm going to take some more paint before this dries up. I'm gonna take some this side too. Just gonna make it a little more dark and spray, spray, spray. Yeah, so it's done over here. Now I'm gonna use another color. So I took violet here. Gonna do the same thing over here. So yes, I did put some water. Now I'm just gonna clean the brush here. So cleaning it, and yes, the brush is cleaned now. And now we're gonna take some violet here. You can use some water if it is less. Now I took. Now gonna. Dab it. Violet we should not take so much because it is a very dark color. So I need more water. So I added some water. I'm gonna dab it. If you can see, and I'm gonna sprinkle some water on the place, and now I'm gonna merge it. So it's wet all again. So if it is too watery, all you have to do is take some more, add it, and now I'll show it to you guys. You're seeing this, right? Now what? you have to do is again take another color so i took my blue gonna do the same thing here too i did now if you must be wondering how will i so that's why i have another side here gonna place It's already wet, okay? so just gonna merge it. So 
so you guys can see it now this part we again add magenta so we are going to do the same thing again yes guys so see this now this is our one part done now we are going to do some other part so i am just going to do some other part and going to show you guys the other part and then the final how the whole thing looks like so yeah let's continue so guys this is our second part and this was our first part so now i am going to tell you how it looks when it is all covered up guys so if you are seeing this is the third part so overall do tell me how is it looking so let's go ahead with other parts hi guys so if you are seeing this this is what i've painted it completely so now i'll be removing the masking tape and showing you how will it look so guys after removing the masking tape it will look something like this and if you have uh, made this art and it has come as beautifully as like this then do subscribe my video do subscribe my channel and like my videos and if you want more art tutorials like this then do tell me so i have already given my mail id tamtalkshow@gmail.com so do mail me and tell me so uh, i hope you liked this thank you everyone for watching my video and i hope you liked my artwork bye see you all next week